now I'm going to talk about the elbow joints. Uh, it's a synovial joint histologically, but uh, mechanically it's a hinge joint. You can do just flexion and extension. And as you see, it's uh, made up of three bones. Here is the humerus, here is the ulna, here is the radius. Three bones contribute to forming the elbow joints. And you see here is the trochlea and trochlear notch of the ulna and you can see capitulum and head of the radius these parts make the elbow joint so here you can see synovial membrane it's a synovial joint so it has a synovial membrane but the point is that the synovial membrane of the elbow joint it extends down and make a synovial membrane for this joint, which is which is called proximal radial ulnar joint. Here is the elbow joint. Here is the proximal radial ulnar joint between the head of the radius and radial notch of the ulna. And you can also see the fat path, two fat paths, uh, which fills this fossa. Here is the coronite fossa. The coronite fossa radial fossa for the head of the radius and these fat paths are located between the synovial membrane and joint capsule and when you are flexing your elbow joint and I'll show you here these fat paths are located filling here this cavity coronoid fossa and radial fossa when you are flexing your elbow joint coronoid process moves into this fossa, coronoid fossa, and radial radius head moves into the radial fossa. So these two fat pads moves, move away. Then when you extend, they will back to their origin, original position. But when there is a fracture, intracapsular fracture here, these fat pads are not located here. They are located other side, so it is called fat pad sign in the radiological picture. It's a good clinical sign to understand or so identify the intracapsular fracture. So here is the capsule. You can see the capsule, and you can see some ligaments around the capsule, which stabilizing or stabilizing the joint you can see two collateral ligaments here medially and laterally here is called ulnar collateral ligament on the medial side here is the medial side ulnar collateral ligament it has a triangular shape and here is called a radial collateral ligament on the radial side radius side and lateral side here is the radial collateral ligament there is another ligament here, which is called annular ligament. It surrounds the head of the radius. But if you look at here, radial collateral ligament blends with annular ligament. And you see here is the radial collateral ligament from the lateral view. It blends with the annular ligament. I will show you in the anatomy model this collateral ligaments and the function of these collateral ligaments. Uh, here is the humerus, here is the ulna electronome process, this is ulna, and on the lateral side here is the radius. So you can see from the medial view, you can see ulnar collateral ligament, it has a triangular shape, and here, yeah, ulnar collateral ligament. On the lateral side, you can see radial collateral ligaments here. And you can see here, this one is the annular ligament. It surrounds the head of the radius. But the point is that the annular ligament blends with the radial collateral ligament. What is the function of the collateral ligaments? As I mentioned before, it's a, it's a 
injured. It can do just flexion and extension. So ulnar collateral ligament and radial collateral ligament prevents the elbow from uh, abduction and adduction. So you cannot, you can't, you are not able to do abduction. I mean abduction and abduction because you have a, you have two strong collateral ligaments here. Thank you.